Ladies, are you ready to ignite your purpose and bring about positive change in the world? At Ignite Purpose, we are focused on empowering people to fulfill their purpose through our tailored email resources and guidance. Today, my wife Victoria shares a quick snippet of her story about serving her mom after her father's death. Let's welcome Victoria. Hi, I'm Victoria Miserac. I um, am here to tell you a story about how my life um, played out in a very selfish way and what Jesus did uh, with me in that. So um, I lived about 30 years of my life living very selfishly. It was all about me. The career I was in was all about me. And um, I made many life choices just built all about me. And um, it wasn't until I was about 50, a little before 50, my father passed away. And between that and some really terrible um, failed relationships that I had, I was devastated. And so I was so broken over all of this, I finally ended up going to a church and surrendering my life to Jesus. And when Jesus came on the scene, he had this idea that I should move back into my mother's house, into the house I grew up in, and um, to live in the basement and to take care of my mother, who now was alone after 53 years of marriage and suffering terribly. So this process um, was about 10 years long, and Jesus helped me to learn not only how to not think of myself um, while I took care of my mother, but also to um, just learn how to love unconditionally. Um, so as time went by, more and more, I learned how to hear the Lord's voice, and I was able to um, obey when He called and asked me to do certain things that were very hard um, while I took care of my mother. She slowly started to lose her memory and uh, dementia set in and it was a terrible struggle. Um, and there were many times I just wanted to give up, but I knew the Lord had asked me to do the work and so I did it as unto Him. And this verse um, from uh, Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving Christ. So as we go through these struggles that we do, remember um, to serve, think of it as serving the Lord. We're not really serving the person, we're serving Christ. And hopefully that will help us do it with love and a better attitude and joy, knowing that it's making Jesus really happy. So ladies, pray today about who God is calling you to serve like Christ. Are you ready to change your perspective on serving so you can live, love, and lead more and more like Jesus every day? I hope so, and I hope this blesses you. Have a great week.